you must understand that as scientists, we must embrace every possibility. No limitations, no boundaries, there is no reason for them. Gentlemen, I would like you to take a look at this. The mobile telephone can be made much smaller, I assure you. Does this work? Not here, not yet. This phone is digital, not analog. It'll take us 30 years to get up to speed. I didn't invent it. I wish I had. Dr. Bishop, we were under the impression Dr. Bell would be here this evening. I'm afraid that's not possible. Dr. Bell is in Europe. But I am here, so I can answer any questions you may have. Dr. Bishop, is this Russian technology? It is not. It is quite American, but it is technology from another universe, an alternate universe, just like ours, but more advanced in some areas. Are you suggesting you somehow visited this alternate universe and acquired this advanced technology? No. It is theoretically impossible to go there. Then how did you come to possess this? I copied it. For the last several years, William and I have been conducting various experiments regarding this other universe. So, based on our findings, we developed a window of sorts, a way of looking into this neighboring world. And that is why we are asking for funding. This is my colleague, Dr. Carl Warren. Hello, sirs. This window works by capturing errant photons the universe beside ours. The window essentially stretches the membrane between our worlds and allows us to see their image from our side. You're gonna make some sort of alternate Manhattan of here? It's already there, General Hanks. Dr. Warren, at all times, right in front of our eyes. We just can't see it. Sure you know that the original purpose of the so-called observation deck, the Empire State Building, was to be a docking station for Zeppelins, of course. Gentlemen, you are looking through a window into another world. 